Hello and welcome to Tunnelbarn Farm and the 2020 Daiwa Pole Fishing Masters. Usually this event's held in the springtime, in June, when the sun's shining and the F1s and carp are feeding shallow. But this year, the COVID-19 outbreak has meant we've had to push it back to now, late October. Still, we've got 112 brave souls out on the bank, battling it out for what is one of commercial fishing's most coveted prizes. The Daiwa Pole Fishing Masters Trophy and the Daiwa Air Z Pole and £3,000 cash that awaits the winner of this prestigious competition. Let's head out on the bank now and see how the anglers are getting on. Day one, and with everyone in the hunt, the battle for section points was fierce. Jenny's and Highpool dominated proceedings, producing four out of the top five in the match. Jamie Hughes lost out in his next peg duel with Andy Bennett, but it was that man Andy Power who scooped the win with a massive £153.14 from peg 27 on the new pool. Here is how he did it. So yesterday was obviously a good day, 150 odd pounds. Um, drawn a different lake today. Um, yesterday it fished a lot harder, I think 38 pound won this section. So it's gonna be a very different day. Um, but hopefully I'll get a few bites and maybe scrape a section win if I'm lucky. So I'm probably only fishing for 30, 40, maybe 50 pounds. So I'm just gonna take it steady with the feed. Um, a few different lines maggots. I haven't really got any options to sort of dog bread anywhere um, so I've got to concentrate on maggots really hope to catch a few late short and see how it goes. James Fox drew Jenny's 19 yesterday good peg everyone told me it should be a right to fish there started off short didn't have a bite then no one was really catching around me so I went dobbing across and finished dobbing across so it's not nice simple day load of big carp. Um, today I grew canal nine it is fair section but we've got to beat the pegs up the far end so we'll give it a go see what happens uh today i'll probably start short see if it's feeding if it's not dob dob along the far bank hopefully i'm getting feed in later on see what happens it's a bit of a winter winter match so yeah fingers crossed all right there, my name's uh, Dylan Blythe. Uh, I'm fishing the Pole Masters this year. Uh, I drew house six yesterday, uh, good peg. Um, 
I pretty much had a simple match to be fair. I've started off short on pellets. Um, I've had three fish. Um, I've had a little mess about on bread long, but they weren't really having it. So I've tapped maggots in, two lines long, and caught an odd fish. And then I've come back short later on, had a good last hour, maybe I had six or seven. And ended up with £39, uh, win the lake and win the session, so a nice day. So I'm on six on canal. Uh, it looks nice to be fair. I've got a couple of spare pegs either side, a uh, bit of room. Uh, I think we're just going to have a simple match again. Maybe go across on bread, try and dob a few. Um, maybe come back short later on and just tap a few maggots in long if the bread isn't working, try and bring some fish in. Let's see, I've got a lot of space either side, so I can always go longer and try and see if there's any fish in any, any other areas of my peg. So hopefully it'll be a nice simple match and I'll have a nice day. Oh, 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 oh,
Day 2. And it was 19-year-old Dylan Blythe who scooped top spot with a £76 net from Canal Pool. Jenny's Pool produced some great backup weights, but with four anglers heading into Day 3 with a perfect two points, the race for the title was wide open. I'm John Arthur and at the moment I'm uh, topping the uh, three-day festival. I've had two section wins. Um, had a good day yesterday. I had 74 pound and I was third in the match. There was a 75 and a 76. So it was really close fishing. Um, I've drawn a really dodgy peg today. Realistically, I can't see me winning the section today, but you never know. Stranger things can happen. I'm on a real narrow peg and with a cold wind blowing down it, but with some good anglers on better pegs, but um, I'm going to give it my best shot. It's been a fantastic event. So uh, I've had some, it's been hard fishing because it's later in the year than normal. But um, it's a brilliant event, some really, really good anglers on it and, um, well, the cream de la creme really of, uh, of um, F1 and carp fishing. So, um, yeah, it's been a brilliant event, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, hopefully I can get a few bites today, but um, it's going to be a bit of a tall order, but we'll, we'll give it our best shot. Uh, Mike Barlow, uh, first time I fished the Tunnel Barn Masters, I've uh, really enjoyed it. Weather's been a bit iffy though, you know, so it's put the venue off a little bit. I was on. Um, extension 37 yesterday, won the section with 27 pound, little skimmers, stockies, a few F1s, short on maggots late on, uh, started on bread, dobbed a couple early doors, um, I have drew five extension today which is a good peg which won the section yesterday so hopefully um, you know I should be able to catch a few today but you never know and uh, just hopefully we can uh, catch a few. This is the first time I fish a lot of festivals in Ireland normally, but with COVID, everything's been cancelled. So I decided to come on this and I've really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously it'd have been a lot better if we'd have been in the summertime, catching more fish and the sun out and light nights. So that had been really good, but I can't wait to come back next time as well. So yesterday I was on peg 19 on canal. Um, I've had a tough day. I've just scratched around for an odd bite. Um, Caught 13 F1s, mainly down the middle on maggots and won the section, so that keeps me in contention for today. Today I've drew 23 on new. Um, I've been on this peg a few times, it's a bit of a hit and miss peg, so I just hope I can get a few bites in, decent points for my section, hopefully, you know, get up there in the festival. Well, this event's been a bit different this year, not only with it being a lot later in the year, but also with what's been going on uh, in the world at the minute, and it's been run brilliant. We've, all been kept apart, the draw's been done the night before, all the weighing in's been dead quick, so can't fault, it's been good. Thank you.
Day 3 and Lee Cowlin obliterated the match with a fantastic £80 net from the high pool. But on to the main event, the race for the top and with 3 out of the top 4 anglers dropping from a perfect score on the 3rd and final day it left one man, John Arthur, on a perfect 3 section wins and it was him who walked away as the Daiwa pole fishing master. Well, I'm absolutely shocked. I've, uh, I've somehow won the section today. I honestly, I really didn't think it was going to be possible today. Um, extension 17, it's a really, really iffy peg and I've got some, some good anglers on good pegs in the section. But I've had a little arrival in the last hour um, and um, I don't think I fished a very tidy match yesterday, but I've made up for it today. I feel I fished, fished okay, which is, I'm my biggest critic, but today I felt I fished, fished half decent to be honest I've, I've had a bit of fortune I was putting my waterproofs on um, 15 minutes before the start and I've seen an F1 top on um, on peg 18 and um, I hadn't even plumbed there so I quickly plumbed up and I realized it's a good half a foot deeper against that pallet leg and I've dobbed um, 10 F1s there early doors um, which was a bit of a surprise really really hard to catch missing a few bites but um, and then I've tried feeding and I've had just a couple of fish and it just didn't feel like there's a lot there. I've gone 16 meters down, down the peg and I've had a, an F1 and a small mirror and I thought that's it, they're, they're, that's where they are. Then I've had one tiny little stocky after that. Um, and then I've just been scrapping around but the last hour, um, they finally turned up on my short maggot lines and I've had 20 pound exactly in the, in the last hour. So um, a good 20 fish, um, all different sorts of sizes but just an absolutely lovely day's fishing. So I'm absolutely made up. I could see Peg 13's landing net going up in the air all the time, and I thought he'd won the section. And um, But I thought I might be able to scrape second or third the way it was going, but absolutely made up. Can't believe I won won, uh, won the section all three days, and uh, I won it overall, absolutely made up with that.